when you're keying, when you're keying this guard ball triangle right here, okay? Those right. are just leads. Those just and most people now, guys, a lot of times if they're not running the top, the two biggest plays, first of all, people are doing yes. it. Yes. They're doubling the shape, they're doubling the down people, they double the double the three, double the shape, and just hand it off and try to run over these people. Okay? Right now. But when they're not doing that, again, your guard ball triangle comes into effect with this. Here's the next biggest play in the National Football League. You know, everybody, everybody that runs it calls it God's play. <laughs> it's the power O. Okay, here's the power O. Okay, now, now with the power O, what we do is we're going to double to three. Now we're going to block back with the center. We're going to turn out on the wide five. We're going to turn out on the nine. Uh, yeah. The guard is going to come through here, and then what they're, then what they're going to do is they will counter step the fullback to get the backers on this side, here, here. Okay, that's the power. So now, when you're keying as a linebacker, you're keying the guard ball triangle. Now, when you're keying the guard ball triangle, the lineman, any lineman that pulls across the center takes precedent over the backs. Okay. We don't uh, care. We don't cool. care which way the backs go now. As soon as this guy goes, we're, we're, as, soon as, as soon as this guy goes, we're going to go. Get this color so you can see it. Which as, soon is the as, guy, as soon as this guy's going to go, gonna, here, here, here's how we play it. Here's how, here's how, here's how everybody plays it. First guy on the side of the power is going to splatter. Okay? What that means is he's going to run underneath the first block he gets. Okay? He's going to splatter. He's going to run underneath. First block he gets, whether it's a fullback or whether it's a guard, he's going to be underneath it. But Mike, okay, what he's taught to do on the power is tight scrape the double team. Oh, tight scrape the double team. He's got to tight scrape the double. He can't go over the top of the double. He's got to tight scrape the double. And the next play that he gets, the next play that he gets, or player that he gets, he's got to be underneath it. Because we want the power. The power is meant. Uh, again, like Del Rio, you know, did hear Jacksonville when they run it with the yeah. Mighty Mouse, Maurice Jones Drew, and they're running it with him, it's an A-gap play. I mean, he's he's core in the A-gap right here, all right? But we still want him tight scraping the double, and the A-gap is taken care of, but we'll line that up. You see this? <laughs> <laughs> what you'd be able to see. You probably don't have to smart enough to understand this. <laughs> All right. So that when this, when, 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 when you get the backside pull, okay, the guy that's got to cancel the A-gap for you is the real linebacker has got to run through. He's got to run through. And so many times, and so many times when you're watching this play, if you'll see those backs cut back, it's because of one of two things. Either the will has got poor read and he's hanging, or most of these guys, because when you start to run through here, I mean, you got to get your pass down and dig it, because what happens is, is these guards are peeking. They're not just staying on that three technique. They're slamming and they're peeking, and if they see an off-color coming, they're coming. So you got to get your pads down and get down. But most of the times when you see those, the, that, that thing break this way, it's either because the wheel back there has hung, or it's too late, or he's over the top. But anyway, that's you know, that's, in, that's in a nutshell, just a little bit about that. Is, man front, you know, what about the counter trade?